my little party animals. Hey, Pamper Renee here today with a brand new video for you. Now, recently with the Dream Home Decorator Pack, we also got a patch for the game, which includes likes and dislikes for Sims. This is something that people have been asking for for a very, very long time. Genuinely don't understand why it wasn't in the base game, but we're not going to get into that right now. What we are going to get into is the fact that on Twitter, in Facebook groups, on Reddit, I have seen people saying or showing that they're finding that the dislikes and likes for the sims that are already in the game are really weird and don't quite fit their characters. The reason for this is because the sims team did not go in and kind of give likes and dislikes to all of the previous sims from previous games. What is happening is anytime you ask a sim that already exists what their likes or dislikes are, it's just being randomized. And this is getting a little weird because there are things like Bella Goth hating the color red. There are things like Marcus Flex hating fitness. And even uh, English Simmer had commented on a tweet that I put out saying that when she did a renovation for the Tinker family, Tina Tinker hated handiness. Like it's literally in her name. This is just silly at this point. So I've decided I'm going to go through hopefully as many of these families that already exist as possible. And I'm going to update all of their likes and dislikes to make as much sense with the character as possible. So today we are going to start with the pancakes and the BFF household. All right, here we are in cast with Eliza and Bob. Now I don't have Iggy in this save file. He's also a toddler, so I don't think it really super matters what his likes and dislikes are. I don't really know. But we're actually, we're gonna move away from Eliza for a second and we're gonna start with my friend Bob here. So Bob has the master chef ambition. He's a slob, he's kind of gloomy, he's a loner. He also in his bedroom, now I always assume that the blue blue bedroom is Bob's and the pink bedroom is Eliza's. Maybe that's wrong of me. I don't know. I know that Aaron Moriarty said that they think that it's the opposite way around. I'm just going to kind of go with what I, what I usually do when I go into their house. So that being said, I think Bob's first like is fairly obvious. It's an activity and it should be cooking. He likes cooking. He wants to be a chef. So why would he not like cooking? <laughs> Secondly, he does also have a weightlifting machine in his bedroom. So Bob would like fitness. Am I right? I, I assume that I'm right here. As far as colors are concerned, his bedroom is mostly blue, but there's also a lot of brown in there. So we're going to like blue and brown. And then as far as decor is concerned, we're going to go with basic decor because he does have really basic decor in his bedroom. So those are the five likes that I'm going with. Cooking, fitness, brown, blue, and basics. And I don't know what kind of music Bob would listen to. Let me know in the comments down below what music you think Bob would listen to because I'm genuinely not sure here. But as far as his dislikes are concerned, there is, you know, kind of the, the joking canon that Bob and Eliza despite being married and eventually having a child, don't actually like each other all that much. So what I'm going with here is I'm kind of going with opposites. So Eliza obviously wears a lot of green, so Bob's gonna dislike green here. He is also going to dislike pink because her bedroom's pink and we don't want him going in there. He's gonna get super uncomfortable when he walks into that pink bedroom. I also think as far as activities are concerned, I'm going to say he dislikes baking. He wants to be a chef, but I don't think he wants to be a baker. That's just, that's just how I feel about him. So we're going to make him dislike baking. He's also going to dislike gothic decor. I just feel like Bob is not a gothic kind of guy. I also feel like he would dislike, where is it? He's gonna dislike writing. Bob doesn't seem like the smartest cookie, so I don't think he's much of a writer, if we're being honest. And I'm also gonna say that Bob doesn't like mischief. And I don't think it's that Bob doesn't like performing mischief. I think that he's the type of guy that if you pulled any sort of prank on him, he would be like 
really, really outraged about any prank that you're pulling on him. I don't know why I feel that way. He just feels like he's kind of like a party pooper. So there we go. We have Bob. He likes cooking. He likes fitness. He likes brown. He likes blue. He likes basics. He hates green. He hates pink. He hates baking. He hates gothic farmhouse. He hates writing. And he hates mischief. This all feels appropriate to me. Let me know if you disagree with any of these in the comments down below. Moving right on to our lovely friend here, Eliza. We're going to go with the obvious here. She likes green. She's got to like green. She wears green. Why would you wear green if you don't like green? I don't know. Maybe you just look good in it. I, I'm not sure. She's also going to like pink because the bedroom that I give her or that I assigned to her is the pink bedroom. So we're going to go with that. I'm also going to say, as far as decor, I think she likes French country because I really feel like her bedroom is very French country-ish. Um, you know, it's just a little bit more upscale than kind of the Bob's room. And I'm also going to say Eliza likes fitness. The reason why I'm doing this is because when you load up the game, the only skill that Eliza currently has is in fitness. And it's, she has, I think it's level three fitness. So it does make sense that she would also enjoy fitness. So that's like the one thing that her and her husband, Bob have in common. I don't know. I guess if that's what works in your relationship, who am I to judge you? She's also going to like painting because she does have an easel. Moving on to her dislikes, she is going to dislike the color brown, which is, again, mostly Bob's bedroom. And she's also going to dislike the color blue, which, again, is mostly Bob's bedroom. I'm also going to say that Eliza dislikes cooking. I feel like in the household, the chef would be the one doing the cooking. I'm also going to say that she also dislikes the gothic farmhouse decor. It just seems, it seems too dark and, you know, just not, not her style. I am also going to say that Eliza dislikes comedy. I don't know. Again, both Bob and Eliza really feel like party poopers. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm putting it out there. I'm also going to say that she dislikes video gaming because Bob does have a computer in his room and he does seem to like, you know, kind of gravitate, gravitate, gravitate gravitate a little bit towards the video gaming so I don't think she likes that about Bob. So for Eliza with her new likes and dislikes we have painting, green, pink, French country, and fitness for her likes. As far as her dislikes we have brown, cooking, gothic, farmhouse, comedy, and video gaming. I feel like these are a little bit more appropriate. Obviously there are plenty of slots left for more likes and dislikes. If you feel like there's, you know, something else that they would like or something else that they would dislike, you're welcome to come in and change these up however you want. I am going to be uploading all of these families to the gallery with their new likes and dislikes. So hopefully, you know, we can have a little bit more consistency as far as all these Sims likes and dislikes are concerned. Here we go. We, we finished the pancakes. The pancakes now have appropriate likes and dislikes as far as I'm concerned. So we're going to move on to our next household. And here we are with our second household. This is the BFF household. So this has Summer, Holiday, Liberty Lee, and Travis Scott. Look at Summer's strut. She is so fabulous. I love her. This household I don't think that there's really like a head cannon for this or anything, but like the way that I feel about this household is it's like a really awkward kind of love triangle. So I feel like Travis and Summer like kind of like each other, but Summer's more of like the, yeah, I like him, but if something better comes along, like I'm just going to go with this something better. But like Travis is cool for now. Liberty, on the other hand, I have a feeling is like kind of obsessed with Travis. I don't know why I feel that way. Liberty to me really feels like a pick me girl, but I feel like there are some pretty obvious likes and dislikes here with these specific characters. Now, if we look at their house, obviously there are three bedrooms. This is, I would assume, Travis's. So obviously, you know, he likes things like music and guitar and all that other stuff as well. I feel like this bedroom belongs to Liberty. I don't know why I feel that way. Maybe it's because she has a desk and the space for a computer. And she's like a, she's an astronaut, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, she's an astronaut. So I feel like her having a computer would be a little bit more important than, say, Summer having a computer. Summer is, again, just like Bob Pancakes, she wants to be a cook or possibly a mixologist. I'm not really sure which one. So I always felt like this was kind of Summer's bedroom. So we're going to jump into Cass and we're going to fix or, you know, assign some likes and dislikes to this lovely household we have going on here. And here we are in Cass with the lovely BFF household. We are going to start with Miss Summer Holiday here, who wants to be a friend of the world. She is active, she is outgoing, and she's cheerful. She's just, she's just a happy camper all around. Like, everything is happy for Summer, so we're going to go with that. As far as colors, I'm going to say she likes blue, because again, she's mostly wearing blue. Her bedroom is blue. It just kind of makes sense. I'm also going to say as far as activities, she enjoys fitness. She just seems like a kind of like a fit kind of girl. So we're going to go with that one. I really think, again, I'm not a fan of the music, but this one just makes sense. I think she would like backyard music. I mean, summer holiday, I feel like all she does is have cookouts all the time. So we're going to go with backyard music. We are also going to go with, as far as decor, we're going to go with the French country decor because, again, that's what her bedroom reminds me of, so that's what we're going to go with. Did I fix cooking? Did I pick cooking as well? She also is going to like cooking because, you know, it makes sense. As far as her dislikes are concerned, I feel like Summer is, like, really, really that cutesy preppy girl that, like, doesn't like anything that's even remotely dark or scary or anything like that. So her least favorite color is definitely going to be black. She is also going to dislike metal music. I feel like she's the type of girl that like you put on metal music and she's like, oh my God, what is this? It's so angry. Why are they yelling at me? So we're going to do that for her. I also think she would dislike spooky music. I know I'm doing a lot of music, but it makes sense for summer. She's going to dislike spooky music. She's also not going to like gothic farmhouse decor, so girlfriend, I would advise you to stay away from the goth family, just a suggestion. And I also feel like she would dislike uh, mischief as well. Again, Summer seems like she's, you know, the cutesy kind of preppy girl. She seems like she might be really sensitive. She seems like the type of person that, like, if you played the wrong prank on her, she would just cry about it for a really long time. So I'm going to go with her disliking mischief because I just, you know, we don't want to make Summer cry. That would be really sad. So there we go for Summer Holiday. Her likes are cooking, fitness, backyard music, the color blue, and French country decor. Her dislikes are the color black, metal music, spooky music, gothic farmhouse decor, and mischief. I feel like that all makes sense with Summer. Obviously, let me know if you disagree in the comments down below. Next, we're going to move on to Miss Liberty Lee here. She is an interesting one. So she has a nerd brain. She is clumsy. She is a bookworm. She's a geek. She's like the, the quintessential, like, Anytime you watch a TV show, she's like that weird geeky friend. That's exactly what Liberty Lee is. She's, she comes across as a little bit awkward. You know, maybe she starts talking about things and like everybody's like, okay, that's cool, Liberty, but like I don't care. Now she is an astronaut, so obviously she would like rocket science. That just makes sense. If you're an astronaut and you don't like rocket science, I don't know what you're doing as an astronaut. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's weird. She's also going to like the color blue because her bedroom is blue and she is going to like the color red as well. So her bedroom, like all of her furniture is like that teal blue color, but then her walls are red. So I don't know. She's got a weird, weird style, weird, interesting style, but we're going to, we're going to let it go. We're also going to say that she likes romance music because she wants nothing more than for Travis Scott to notice her as more than a friend. And it's just like not happening for her. So we're going to go with that. And I'm also going to say as far as decor, I think she likes contemporary. That's kind of what her bedroom feels like to me. It feels a little bit contemporary. Might be basics, but I'm going to go with contemporary here. That's just kind of how I'm feeling. I feel like she would dislike kids' music. I don't know what it is about Liberty Lee that makes me feel like she actually doesn't like or want children, but that's the vibe that I get. So we're going to go with she dislikes kids' radio. I also think she would dislike cooking. I think that's just, like, not her thing. I don't know why. 
I'm just going with it. I'm also going to go with she dislikes fishing. She doesn't really seem like an outdoor kind of girl. She seems more like an indoor kind of girl. So we're going to go with that. And we're going to also include gardening in it, gardening in that because they do have some garden pots. And I feel like that's just like not, not a Liberty Lee kind of thing to do. And she is, of course, you know, as every quirky girl that thinks they're different from everybody else, she's going to dislike pink because, you know, you got to be different, right? <laughs> so there we go. There's Liberty Lee. She likes rocket science. She likes the color blue. She likes color. Did I do both? She likes color red. Yep. And she likes romance music. She dislikes kids radio, dislikes cooking, dislikes fishing, dislikes gardening, and dislikes the color pink. And then finally, we have the man of the household. We have Mr. Travis here. So Travis is a computer programmer. He is also has the computer whiz aspiration. He is outgoing, he is a geek, and he is self-assured. So I have a few here that I really feel like make sense with this guy. He is going to like programming. I feel like every, so my husband is a computer programmer and I feel like every computer programmer that I've ever met actually genuinely likes their job and genuinely likes programming. So I'm gonna keep with that kind of theme here. He likes his job, he likes programming. Obviously he also likes guitar. There is one on his bed. There is an actual guitar in his bedroom. Just makes sense that he would like that. As far as colors are concerned, his bedroom is blue and orange, so we're gonna go with he likes those two colors. I also feel like he would enjoy metal music, which would piss off Summer, which is probably one of the reasons why she doesn't actually like him all that much. I feel like it's, just, it's like a relationship of convenience for her. That's what I'm going with there. And I'm also going to say that he enjoys video games because he does have a few skills a few skill levels, I think two, in video gaming. So that one does make sense to me also. As far as the dislikes are concerned, he also doesn't feel like an outdoorsy kind of guy. So I'm going to go with him disliking fishing and gardening. So, I mean, you know, I'm kind of... I'm kind of pushing them in a, in a direction with these likes and dislikes that Travis and Liberty would definitely make more sense to be together as a couple, but it's just like Liberty's so awkward and weird that it's just not going to work out for her, despite the fact that they have so many things in common. That's what I'm going with. He also is going to dislike pop music. So we're going to dislike pop music. Where is it? Pop music and tween pop music. I feel like he's the type of guy that would like go into a store and he hears like Ariana Grande and he's like, oh, turn it off. I hate it. And then we're also going to make him dislike violin. I feel like, you know, as much as he does like music, maybe violin's not the one for him. I don't have any decor likes or dislikes for him. I feel like he just kind of doesn't really care. You know, furniture is furniture. If it's comfortable, I'll buy it. That's what I'm going with for that. So there we go. There's Travis. He likes programming. He likes guitar. He likes the colors blue and orange. He likes metal music and he likes video games. As far as dislikes are concerned, he does not like fishing, gardening, pop music, tween pop music, or the violin. So there we are. There are our first two families for fixing the Sims likes and dislikes. Let me know in the comments down below what families you want to see me do next. I definitely have the goths on my radar. Cough, Bella, hating red. What? What? Make it make sense. Make it make sense, Sims team, because it doesn't make sense to me. These two families with their likes and dislikes, the Pancake family and the BFF family, will be up on my gallery. So you can download them and you can replace them into your game so that they have likes and dislikes and I did leave obviously a lot of slots open so you can go in and add in or change your own likes and dislikes for however you think it makes sense for them. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see me do more families like this, let me know how you're enjoying the new likes and dislikes system. Personally, meh. <laughs> Meh. I don't really have an opinion one way or the other. I don't I don't do a lot of gameplay, so it's I feel like it's not gonna affect me all that much, but I do enjoy the decorator career, so I feel like doing this is gonna make it a little bit easier to actually do the decorating jobs because they'll have likes and dislikes that kind of make a little bit more sense and hopefully 
They won't be asking for violins in their bathroom. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.